Hello, I'm Andy Robertson. I write and talk about video games, and I run the Game People website. I'm going to be talking about games and consoles. I want to show you how to join Xbox Live. This stage of the process is asking us whether we would like to join Xbox Live. Now this is the service from Microsoft that lets you play against other people online, that lets you download content, that lets you download games you can play. Um, but before you can do that, you need to set up an account. So we're going to click Get Connected. Here we can choose between a wireless or a network connection, where I've actually got a cable plugged into the 360. That's the setup we've got here, so I'm going to select, select Wired Network. This will now run through a series of tests, making sure that firstly your 360 can connect to the internet, and then that internet connection can find the Microsoft servers of Xbox Live. Each step of this process is indicated by the green dots, and you can see it's found the network, it's now found the internet, and it's now connecting to Xbox Live. As you're setting up Xbox Live, one of the steps which may appear is a system update. Now this is the way that Microsoft keeps its Xbox 360s running smoothly and having the latest software on them. To be able to connect to Xbox Live, you need to click Yes. This will now download the update from the Microsoft servers and then automatically apply it to your 360 before continuing with the setup process. Once your 360 is downloaded and applied the update, you'll find that the console restarts and you're able to continue the setup process. So once your 360 is restarted, you'll be presented with this screen and all you need to do now, enter an email address, Review the settings that you've already entered to make sure they're correct. Obviously, accept the terms and conditions. The next stage is to set yourself up a profile. Now, this is how you'll be identified and recognised on Xbox Live. So click the Create New Account button. Enter your name. So I'm putting a, a friend's name here. And I'm going to click Done by pressing the Start button. Now I need to enter their email address. This is how Microsoft will contact them if they need to talk about their account details or if they need to confirm email addresses in the future or changes. You can click the Start button and that will take you onto the next screen. You need to pick a password for yourself. Now this needs to be something, as it says, between 6 and 16 characters, but it also needs to be something you can remember. Just to confirm that you remember your password, you're asked to enter it a second time. Now you can select a security question. Now this is something if you did forget your password, Microsoft would use this on the 360 to confirm your identity and get you back on Xbox Live. Here I've chosen a fictional character and I'm going to put in Superman. And you get a final chance to confirm all that information before you click continue. When your account is first set up, you'll be assigned a, a gamer tag by Xbox Live. Once you start using it, you can go in and change that to something that you might prefer. Um, although, you can only change it once if you wanted to do that again, that's, a, that's something you'd have to pay for. With your Xbox Live account set up, it starts you off on a silver account. Now this lets you download games and access some of the features, but to get the full advantage of everything on Xbox Live, you need a gold account. And this screen here gives you the chance to upgrade Clicking continue will start that process. Here you can see an overview of the sorts of services you'll get for Xbox Live Plus, any special offers. At the gold details page you can see um, other features that you can take advantage of if you've got a gold account. And there's also a gold family details page where you can buy a package of accounts. Now it's worth noting here that you don't need multiple Xbox Live accounts um, to play online with your family. You can share one profile, but if you do that, your gamer score is going to be shared between the whole family. If you don't take the option of upgrading to an Xbox Live Gold account straight away, you get a month's trial to see if you'd like to take advantage of the service later on. You can click continue. And here we are, that's Xbox Live all set up. You're ready to go online, play against your friends and download games.